Group B, responsibly confronting domestic violence and ensuring safety. Um, we have two measures that we include under this, and those, those include having a written plan in a county that is arrived at through really comprehensive work uh, of the family law professional, judges and attorneys, but also uh, police, domestic violence advocates, and so forth, for ensuring safety and ensuring responsible uh, uh, referral of uh, victims and offenders uh, to the help that they need, and also to avoiding any uh, improper or false claims of domestic violence. And we also have, uh, and that plan we think should be revisited and studied often and improved on and made a, a portion of uh, the discussion, ongoing discussion in a bench and bar. Domestic violence should be everyone's responsibility to confront. And uh, this isn't something that should be set aside and say, well, we, we simply, you know, uh, you know, let some advocates deal with that. Every family attorney and every family judge should be conversing about what can be done to make things better and what things need to be avoided in order uh, that, might, that might be making things worse. And also uh, within, this, uh, within this group is that there, uh, there is a plan uh, to get the best resources available. What kind of 24-hour hotline, if that's what your jurisdiction um, depends on, what counseling or services, what special training needs to take place in courthouses for uh, clerks and so forth to assist people who may be without resources and need to be uh, referred someplace for a special help. So responsibly confronting domestic violence and ensuring safety is group B.